the echoed forming technique. And now's the time to analyze the principles of this typical and fascinating echoed engineering technique. In short, it's a method of code forming sheet and profile sections. It's only the stroke position and the rate of feed of the workpiece that determine the forming process of the various different materials. The sophisticated rubber metal juncture of the spring elements permits a deflection from a vertical to a horizontal mode of operation, in this case towards the middle. The profile edge is shortened and hence becomes curved. For stretching a workpiece, the tooling is changed. And to optimize the speed of the operation, we have developed our tooling quick change system. The lock is released and the tool removed from the holder. The new tool is inserted and locked again. With our system, there is no further need for adjustment. Then the stroke speed is pre-selected on the push buttons and the ram end position is set by the foot pedal. In stretching, the tool elements work from the middle outwards as they stretch the workpiece material precisely step by step to the desired form. The corrugated and hardened upper surfaces of the tooling elements grip the material of the workpiece and force it into the stretching direction. A flashback shows the conventional but by now almost historical method of heat shrinking with bending and beating out the wrinkles in a series of time-consuming operations. The echoed forming technique is a unique method of producing a wide variety of shapes, either one-off or in small series, on a single machine on the echoed craft former. These are the four powerful types, varying in forming capacity and throat depth. The KF665 with electrical stroke position adjustment, throat depth 675 mm for up to 6 mm sheet thicknesses. The KF460 electrical stroke positioning, 460 mm throat depth up to 3 mm thickness. KF330 also electrically adjusted, throat depth 340 mm up to 2 mm thickness and the KF324, identical except for manual wheel adjustment. The system is completed by the full scope of special echoed forming tools for practically every type of finishing task in craft and industry. These are the tools for shrinking, shown here in a brief overview. This tool, whose working surfaces consist of a special laminate, is employed for gentle finishing of surfaces in aluminium or stainless steel, which will later be exposed to view. The gentle surface treatment method also applies, of course, to tools for stretching, doming, flattening and so on. This is the result produced on an aluminium angle section. The beak-shaped tool is essential for shrinking U-shaped and acute angle sections. The working surfaces are provided with steel studs or laminated forming dies for gentle treatment of aluminium and stainless steel surfaces. The counterpart to the previous tool now stretches the section to an S-profile. Using the same beak-shaped tool, this aluminium angle section is stretched into a curved shape. The biting surface of the tool reaches right into the angle, resulting in outstanding precision and high tolerances. This profile former is available for a wide range of section shapes. It is, for example, used for forming the web of a Z-section profile. The next challenge, a flat sheet metal disc is formed by shrinking around the edge stepwise and at set intervals into a hemispherical dish. An adjustable stop ensures dimensional accuracy. The tool palette for precision forming. Using one of these special forming inserts in the universal tool carrier, the part is first shaped to the required form while at the same time planishing its surface. The stroke speed in this case was increased from 300 to 600 a minute. The doming tool turns a similar even round shape in one forming operation into a triaxially curved dome while simultaneously planishing its surface. With this tool, the edge of a manifold is partially stretched. 
Dimensional accuracy is ensured here as well by means of an adjustable tool stop. The second step then achieves the desired result. The reformer gives the workpiece its precise radial contour. A template is used to check the precision of the final result. For upsetting flanges to a maximum of 90 degrees, we have developed a special flanging tool. Various different tool inserts, so-called hammer and anvil, are employed to achieve the desired flange radii and heights. This tool allows other workpieces besides round ones to be finished. The tools used for concentric or spot flattening remove dents and buckles from sheet and deep drawn workpieces. The tool surfaces are optionally coated with steel or laminate and work from the outside edge towards the center. The result is a bottom plate flat and unbuckled in all directions. From the wide assortment of forming tools, which we cannot of course present in their entirety here, we would like to show you finally a typical Eckhold idea, the universal edge shaping attachment, which combines the operations of shrinking and stretching in one tool. This proves to be a practical and cost-effective Eckhold solution. The unique Eckhold forming technology has won a firm position in the sheet fabricating industry and trades over the last few decades, in Germany and all over the world. For example, in the manufacture of large-scale illuminated signs, the edges and frames of letter segments are formed with the Eckhold craft former to the precise tolerances required for a logo or brand sign. In the handcrafting of complete bodywork components for the restoration of classic or vintage automobiles, the Paragon is the original part of the respective vehicle. Here measurements are repeatedly taken before the replacement part is formed with high precision on the Eckhold craft former or domed or flattened. The result leaves nothing to be desired. Further brief overview shows the production of parts in rail vehicle construction, forming a hood on the roofing element of a rail car, or complete fabrication of profile sections for commuter trains. The Eckhold craft former was complemented in this escalator building works by a special bending unit which can however be dismounted easily and quickly. Here aluminium profile sections are formed into covering elements with such a high degree of consistency that any further reworking of the parts is eliminated. They are required for escalators in daily use by the public. Copper sheets, which have been preformed in the craft former, are now given their final shape with a reforming tool. In this specialized company dealing with restoration work on historic buildings, the window sills are, for example, shaped to match their originals in this more than a century old church. The echoed craft former in operation in boat and yacht building, mainly for shaping ribs for the ship's hull. Step by step, following the blueprints with high precision. What's more, the up to six millimeter thick planking plates for the outer skin of the hull are shaped perfectly to the contours of the ship's design. In the aeronautical industry, the buckles on profiles and pressed sheet metal parts caused by the manufacturing process are removed with echo tools. Working with high responsibility using templates for checking the dimensional accuracy of light alloy components for the Airbus 320. A feat of engineering ensuring safety both today and in the future for aviation round the globe.